There's estimated to be 200 million people around the world with intellectual disabilities, often the most marginalized, they're the most mistreated, most misunderstood people in all communities. It could change the lives of people with intellectual disabilities through the power of sports and all the good things that come from it. Good health, self-confidence, courage, determination. Our mission of awareness that leads to acceptance and inclusion means getting in front of as many eyeballs as possible with these great stories. Google was able to help us both figure out who it is we're talking to, but also get a global audience to be able to get those messages out. Starting out, we knew that we needed about uh, 30,000 volunteers and about 500,000 spectators to come to the games. For us to keep moving quickly and efficiently, um, technology is really critical. So there were a couple great bullet points about our decision to go with Google Apps. First off, it was free to nonprofits. We also could add as many users as we wanted. That was crucial for us because, again, being the games organizing committee, we didn't know how large we were going to get. So we had to have something that we knew would grow with us. And that's the great thing about Google Apps. It's, it's scalable. You can start with 20 people and end up with 20,000. Through Google Hangouts, I was able to do mentor training as well as do a couple of uh, segments on the separate abilities and then post it on YouTube and all that. So it was a really good tool for me to have. Along with Hangouts, you have tools uh, like Google Docs, like spreadsheets. One of the great things I love about spreadsheets is that I can work on those documents at the same time as my coworker is. And there were a lot of documents created for the games, I can assure you. And that document is up to date the minute you leave it. The number of moving parts, the number of employees, uh, the number of things we got to keep track of is remarkable. Um, one of the things that we used for that was our event tracker with Google Sheets. Um, that, that we would keep track of all the events that were coming and so our senior staff could meet and, and be on the same page. Our transportation department utilized Google Sites to create a schedule for our shuttle services during games time. Um, when I was scheduling the Google Messengers, uh, we did it based on a Google form and uh, that's how we created uh, when a request was needed for Google Messenger to go out and speak out um, at the different businesses and everything to get them involved. We found the enterprise support team great. I mean, we were always able to reach out to them in one manner or the other. The great thing about Google Apps is that it's a very quick startup. It doesn't require us to go off and find a data center in our building. It doesn't require us to worry about running AC or electricity for 24-7. It doesn't require us to go down and start creating redundancy plans and worry about how we're backing up our data or, where, or how we're going to get that big storage device up in our new office. All of that is available through Google Apps. It's a very powerful set of tools. We wanted to produce video, and as a nonprofit, we had to be very resourceful because our, our budget was very limited. And we had several pieces to the puzzle. So we had people, we had producers, we had writers, we had a lot of people who wanted to volunteer. But we didn't have equipment, and we didn't have a sound stage uh, or production space. And so YouTube came in and provided that missing piece of the puzzle. When we created our YouTube videos, we made sure to include cards and annotations so we could provide a way for people watching the videos to take an action that, we, that was important to us. Um, in our case, that meant um, subscribing to our YouTube channel or subscribing to our newsletter or visiting the website. Um, so AdWords would draw the people in and analytics would let us know what they're doing and if our ads were really working or not. We started out with our $10,000 standard AdWords grant and through analytics we were able to optimize our AdWords campaigns and max that out. So then we applied for our $40,000 grant. Without the Google for Nonprofit tools, I'm not sure how we would have um, built the audience we built, especially because as a nonprofit we had no budget for that. You know, without Google, we would have incurred a lot of costs to do this, costs that would have taken away from the games. Without Google tools, we would have a really hard time building an audience, building the kind of audience that we did build. Because when people are educated, inspired, and engaged in what we're doing, hearts and minds are changed. And so it's a matter of getting in front of as many people as we possibly can, and, and thanks to Google, we were able to do that.